Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today we got Project Cars 2. I'm going to give you all the configurations for both the controller and the steering wheel. So you got the Thrustmaster TMX, and I got the gearing set to manual with automatic clutch. The reason why I have automatic clutch is because I have the paddle shifters with no clutch pedal. If you have a clutch pedal, I recommend doing it on like the manual clutch. You can do it with manual clutch even with the paddles, but I still recommend just doing it with the automatic clutch on because you don't have to worry about pushing an extra button on the steering wheel to use the clutch and like you can just shift like freely without having to push the clutch and for the configurations dead zones and sensitivities dead zones are at zero sensitivity is at 50 keep that pattern going on just to make everything simple and it comes like that anyways so just keep it the way it is then next up you got edit assignments you got steering left and right those are like obvious and um and then gear up gear down those are the left paddle and right paddle and then next up the headlights the reason why i didn't set the headlights is because there's no buttons no buttons that i can replace for the headlights and like if i were to replace that some it would probably say you need to have an assignment for each spot but if you can find a button that you can replace with the headlights and you feel free for like replacing that feel free to do that but I didn't have it set to the headlights but moving on to the force feedback you got immersive you got the immersive informative and then raw settings each of these settings basically change the dynamic of how your steering works if it's immersive it's more realistic towards like how it would work in real life and then informative is more kind of like basically like I don't know how to describe it but it's more like it's what the game comes with and then raw is like more intense and next up you got the controller controller settings these like work excellently give all credit to my friend crack much so credit credits down there in the description he helped me out. He helped me out with a the controller. These controller settings make it so much easier to play this game with a controller. So, anyways, you got the, the steering dead zone. I set it down to zero. It was at two, but you have all the settings right here for the controller. As you can see, the dead zones and all those are a little bit different on the controller because. The wheel is already configured and all that, like you calibrate it and everything. Um, but the controller is so much different. This game's not really built for. It's a little bit better, honestly, than the first game was for the controller. But it's still not primarily built for the controller. But these settings make the controller so much easier to use. And compared to the first Project Cars, it's so much better to use the controller on here than it was on the first one. Like, it's more playable on here than it was with the first one. But, don't just, if you're playing, if you've played Forza, do not expect it to be easy. Because it's still going to be quite difficult to drive on here with a controller. Um, but it's just not going to be like how difficult it was on the first one. 